Hello everyone. So right now it's currently 718. You can sit over here. So today let's 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 look at this stock real fast before uh this is a re quick recap I'm doing right now on this stock right here. So for example, this morning we have AMBO being our second leading gapper. It capped up about 38%, I believe it was. So let's see. Okay, so that's where I took my trade right there. I saw it for the next five minute count to make a new high and I called everything out in the chat room. Wolf Traders Capital, it's our private chat room. That's where I live stream every single day, every single morning from 9 a.m. until we know the momentum has, usually from 9.30 to 10, uh, 10.30 when it's really hot, or 9.30 to 11. That's when everything is gonna be the hottest in the market, right at the opening. So right here you can see I took my trade right about Let's see. Well, mm, let's see if I can re just remember by looking at it, cause I, I don't want to log in to my to my account right now, which I use Simic Capital. Let's see. This was a perfect setup. So yeah, I went long over here as, cause the high of this candle it's at uh, two seventy. So I went long right about two sixty six for the break, and I saw I think it was a seventy five. Yeah, that's why I took my partial, and because seventy five there was a hidden seller. So as soon as we got to 75 and then 80, I took my, because 80 was right here, look at this flat over here. Because I remember 79, yeah, there it is, 79, it was pre-market highs. So that's where I took my, um, right about 80, that's where I took my position. And we had a nice squeeze all the way up to, what was the high, 89. So I gave a little, well, I, I didn't fall, uh, fall into FOMO because, well, I gave a nice sense on this pop, but it's always a good thing to take profit. And then uh, let me show you real quick, guys, the things I should have, uh, I would have known, or want, it would have been better if I knew before day trading. And right here, guys, you can see my my chat, Wolf Traders Capital. So this is the right here, the intro. I have for the premium members. Uh, we also we do get scanners. I have the momentum scanners, which I broadcast every time I'm streaming. Every morning, I have my momentum scanners. And right about 9 a.m. That's when we go over our gappers, our leading gappers in the entire market. So let's take a look at this one. So all the uh, trading terms you guys should know are right about right they're all over here. So let me go back. So for example, what is day trading? Uh, what is a professional day trader? Also pattern day trading rules, swing trading, stock market hours, bull or bullish. All the definitions you guys want to know about day trading or about trading uh, just in general. Uh, I believe well about ninety percent they're all, all the all, they're all like right here on trading on the trading terms. So it's about ninety percent of uh, all the terms. I have them over here, but you can check also over here volatility, support level, resistance level, stock, pump dump, mutual fund, hard to borrow, equity, anything you guys want to know. That's something really good you guys should uh, read, and I'll leave a link in the description to the. Um, to my private discord well this is not private this is for everyone to see the private is over here for the premium members that's where i go live so sometimes we actually do uh classes so that's why i have a classes section over here because uh probably so uh mostly saturdays right afternoon i do a class uh i ask the chat uh the members what they want to learn for example we can do a strategy a momentum strategy or a gap and go or dip trade uh, I'll ask around or if anything we do a little bit of everything I where I explain things if you I, if you guys don't know anything or have a question or struggling in like a part of day trading you're always free to ask me you're always welcome here you can ask me and the thing with me I read and I answer and I try to answer everyone so if you also have a question I have a let's see if I still have it I had a question room but I think I deleted it because I was getting too many and then it was just sometimes the same over uh, the same questions. For example, someone asked me, I remember one day, uh, what type of trader I am. And then I said, I'm a, I trade small caps. I'm a day trader. I like to trade small caps because I, I like the volatility in them. And then literally like two hours after someone else asked almost similar question to that. So I just, it was a lot of repetitive questions I had. So for example, guys, look at this. So, oh, the lounge room, you guys can hang out over here. Sometimes we put up profits. And then I do sometimes my, my YouTube recaps. I'm gonna get more into the YouTube 
I actually haven't had the time because I've been busy with uh, working with the members and teaching. So right here uh, we have Wolf Traders Recap. And right about here we also have uh, some strategies I share with you guys, my momentum strategies. I, I give some examples and then I explain what I like in them. Uh, we also have the gap and go strategy, reversal, bull flag. Let's see, I have some uh, day trading tools like what type of brokers. We talk about all brokers out there, which one's the best for commission. And then some traders uh, psychology. So we have FOMO, what's FOMO? Fear of missing out. So I was, mm, I got into FOMO today. What was the stock? Let me see if I can pull it out real quick. Um, CLOV, CLOV, that one, well, I, I had to take the red trade over here. So I went long right here. Uh, well, I went, my problem was I broke one of my rules right there. Cause I was, I did a little bit riskier. Uh, it was a little bit more riskier trade. And I even said it, this is a little bit more risky. So I went long over here, right about 10. Um, no, it was in the twenties. Let's see where it was. Hmm. What was my, oh no, it was 19 my average. So what was the high, yeah, it was 19. We only had about uh, one minute left. And what I was thinking, we didn't have this drop. And what I was thinking for the next five minute candle, well, to make a new high of the previous one, which is, was uh, 1020. So I was expecting the next five minute candle to rip up and probably a test of 1050, but we never got that. So I had to stop, I uh, stepped out right about ten dollars yeah i believe it was around ten dollars because i saw how i went to the v uh v up and then it opened up and then just flush but that was a disaster right here it should have gone when it opened up we had the nice surge and then just woof, it dropped so i had to cut it and that was that trade today that was the one that put me red for the day but let's see before it was actually pretty good. In the, uh, in the morning, we actually had good trades on um, the leading gapper, the second leading gapper. But anyways, going back to the private chat, guys. So if you guys have any questions regarding day trading, you uh, feel free to message me or feel free to leave uh, in the lounge room. Feel free to leave a question. I'll get back to you. I'll probably private you message. Uh, I'll probably yeah, uh, a private message. I'll send you. But if not, I'll do a Q and A and I'll write down your question. And on a Saturday, I'll do a QA. and a If you guys are interested, I'm gonna start doing Q&As every Saturday. So if you guys wanna stay tuned, you will, uh, you're will. you more than welcome to join us. Cause uh, what I like is that I'm always looking at the chat, always looking at uh, people's questions. Cause I remember what it feels like being a beginner, uh, not knowing and or wanting to help someone. Cause I had to go through the hard way learning. Cause for example, I bought a program and then um, after that program, I was just learning and learning, but I, I had sometimes I had questions and then I was already in a chat room and then I asked my question but there was so many people or he just like the, the person I, I'm not gonna say the name but the person I was in there with he just didn't answer the questions so I feel like I had to do my own research and then do my own um, my like I went through the hard way we can say just put it into simple terms so I'm actually like I want to help people out there I want to help those uh, traders that are struggling to day trade, just like when I need help. That's the only thing. Because I don't know, I know how it feels. I know how it feels sometimes having a question, and then looking it up. But sometimes we're humans. We need someone to explain things to us, and that's how I feel. I I feel like I like when probably people explain things to me a little bit better. I'm more like a visual guy. It's same same thing was in school. Uh, I I did I never liked on like um online classes nothing like that I like to be more in class and then visualize everything but over here guys so let's see that's the momentum we have the broker and then yeah if you guys have any questions you know if it's regarding BWAP or anything more more videos are gonna keep coming up so stay tuned and now every morning I'm gonna probably do a well I'm gonna start doing now every morning a live stream for pre-market so it's gonna be the pre-market show so to uh, show people what I'm what I'm looking at the opening or when pre-market, but at the for the bell at the opening, I'll probably have uh, I always have like at least one stock to be watching right when the bell rings, and that's always that's always a good thing. But let's see, I had something else that I was gonna say. I just I was trying to think about it right now. I just can't remember it. 
But, hmm, I just couldn't remember it. What it was. But also, you, you guys on YouTube, um, feel free to leave a comment. I'll get back to you also. And if you guys will do me that favor, give it a thumbs, uh, thumbs up. And also, if you want to subscribe, I'll be here helping you. And then I'll be more than happy to help you in your journey in day trading. Oh, oh, that yeah, I, I remember what I was going to say, you see? <laughs> so this is going to be... Uh, I'm not going to edit anything. I don't want to edit anything. So you guys see, like, real things. Nothing's going to be edited. So it's just me. If I make a mistake when I'm talking or anything like that, I'm not going to go back and edit everything. So I just feel I want to be full transparent with you guys. So this is just something else. That's... Uh, a group chat I'm with my friends just sometimes when we do uh, when we play or communicate so oh yeah so the premium guys so if you're gonna uh, if you want to be a premium member that's $99 a month but in that in that premium member you get access to the uh, private life uh, live chat which I usually right here live stream so I'm live streaming I share my uh, my screen I usually have a let me see if I can do it like this how I have it so I usually have right here I have my my chart and over here I'll have my entry position or my entry quote where you can see what stock I'm trading and when I'm long and also on this I will have my I'll also have my momentum scanner over here so you guys can see what's hitting the scanners in the momentum scanners so that's pretty cool you guys uh, something really cool something a lot of uh, well the current members really like but if you guys want to become a member or oh, you know, I'll give you a tease. So I'll show on the live streams every morning, pre-market, the morning show. So I'll give you a tease of how it is. But usually every morning I'm trying to find a stock to trade. But now I'm actually like, I've helped other people around where I live. And also, because I'm from New York, I live in Long Island. So I've helped a lot of people here. And I want to expand more. I want to help more people out there that are struggling. Because I know it's not just people in here. There's people all around the world that want to day trade. But sometimes they don't have the right tools so they don't have the right person to mentor. For example, I was with this other person uh, when I was first starting to day trade. There was this guy. I'm not gonna say names. Let's just say it was uh, X. Okay, so I was in X. Uh, I bought a program to learn how to day trade, but it was for the strategy. I really didn't like it because it was more about earnings. So you had to look at the Nasdaq and then see what stocks were. Uh, they were having earnings coming up or in that morning news so what i found about that guy it was in the classes literally let me see if i can just pull up something real quick um one second guys let's see do i have uh no i do not have something to draw with See, I'm just trying to find something to draw, but <laughs> anyways, so what I, what it was, it was just like, he literally, he didn't even show a sh like a chart. He literally just drew a line like this. Oh, actually I do have my notes over here. So I always have this little book where I write notes every morning. And I also like uh, members, if they have a question, uh, I'll write them down. For example, today they wanted me to break down um, why I, I went long on C, uh, CLOV or the other stocks, so I answered them. So for example, this guy had this. Uh, he had a line, like when the market opened. That's a pretty bad line, but let me show you guys. So this, oh, let me see where the camera, this was a strategy for him. For example, over here, he said, okay, so oh, where is it? The market opens over here and he literally just drew that. So the market opens and then we wait for when it goes up and when it goes down again, and when it goes up, but it has to be a little bit lower than the previous high, he said. And then when it goes down, as soon as we hit the same uh, support, that's when we go long, when we go short, I mean. And I was like, what is this? I'm not learning anything. I'm just seeing a, a line going like like a curve line. And I wasn't learning anything. 
And then I had to pay 500 bucks for that. And then it's funny because in one of the, uh, one of the videos I saw about him, he's like, guys, uh, if like if you guys don't like it uh, after three days, you can just email me and I'll send your money back. And I paid 500 for that. And I was I emailed him like the second day after. And then he's like, I'm sorry, I've never I never said that. Uh, the, the money was refundable, so I just lost the money there. When I clearly told him in one of his videos, he said that. But it was like, whatever. So I had to go through the hard way and then learn. And then from pretty big mistakes. So for example, over here where it says, I lost about $23,000 right here in my story. When I first started to learn how to day trade, well, my family, uh, my uncle owns a painting company, so he actually uh, saved up and everything. So he gave me money to trade about three years ago it was. And then the first year is always the rough, guys. Trust me. Never give up. Never give up. Because this is not something you're just going to come in here and get rich quick. You have to work You have to work hard. You have to earn it. So never give up. That's I never did that. I was here every single day, even if I lost money. And then I started like seeing things you make me, yeah, you will make mistakes. I'm telling you that right now. And then that's why I'm here to help you. I sky you so you don't make the same mistakes I do. You don't make another mistake, like another like, like what, what can I say? What type of mistake? Like another mistake that can easily be avoided. That's what I'm trying to get. So that's, that's right there. And then cause I trust me, I made so many mistakes that I, I don't recall. You can ask. There's no trader out there that's gonna tell you, yeah, I made zero mistakes, and then he's really profitable. No one's gonna tell you that. He, it's just, or no one's gonna come and tell you, look, I'm gonna sell you this 100% accuracy um, classes that you can just come and teach the strategy, you will be always 100% accurate. There's nothing out there. Not even big institutionals can do that. Have 100% accuracy. You're never gonna hit them all. You're never gonna hit the that you're never gonna, you're never ever gonna get the low, low and the high, high. So that's not gonna happen. You usually like to, uh, for example, today I took profit as I saw some resistance coming in, as I was reading the level, uh, time and sales on the level two. And I usually every time I'm trading, I'm actually talking with the chat. So if they also have a question, they'll ask me, and I'll go back to them and explain them. But I'm always trying to be active with the chat. If uh, I want to make sure everyone stays. It's, it's, stays online you know so right here we got this and then um, so that's some strategies over here so I call it some trading tools broker what well, broker well the broker I use is uh, Simic capital elite I think it was elite yeah capital let me see um, Yes, yeah, Capital Market Elite Group. Yeah, I was right. Had to double check over there. No, but yeah, guys, so feel free. And then um, there's a lot of actually good information I have in the chat for free. So feel free to join. Feel free to read it. You know, it might help you. For example, today I posted news of uh, the leading gapper, uh, MRLN news. Over here it was uh, for the free, of, well, it was free for everyone. And over here, the second leading gapper. Well, I mistyped that right there because I'm always trying to do this at the same time I'm trading and then for the chat right there and then uh, but you guys uh, for the premium members you guys can you you guys will see that right away because I'm right there I'm going through the gappers with you guys and I'm reading the news reading why the, the stock gapped up if there's momentum following up if it's just uh, continuation of the stock what's continuation some people might ask continuation it's when the stock hit a high the previous day and the next day, well, it opens close to the previous day high and then it makes a new high of day in the daily. So for example, I can show you a good example over here on this one. If you look at the daily, uh, where is it? I can't really see cause I have my, my laptop in front of the other monitor. So right here, this continuation right there. So for example, this day we finished up about, what was the high over there, 12.38 we can say. And the next day, this continuation, but with no news. For example, this candle over here didn't have no news. And you just made a high over there, so that's continuation. But look at this. 
It went from 10 to 17 and look at that. But look at that sell off it had right there. So this, this stock that I was trading today is a good momentum stock. So that's a good momentum stock, but we also have to be cautious because sometimes it has these big sell-offs. They're nasty, nasty, nasty sell-offs. And I'm always, we're always trying to avoid those sell-offs or not being part of a pullback. That's why in the chat you guys will hear me and then uh, you will hear me telling what's my entry and what's my exit and what I'm thinking about that trade. That's something pretty cool. A lot of people like that, the way I actually call out the trades or I sometimes call it out if it's a little bit more risky. So, because I like people, I don't like people losing their money. If I really like, if I can help everyone not lose their money, that would be my goal right here. But I know there's people who are gonna lose money, not everyone's gonna make money. As we already know, day trading is risky. I believe, uh, I forgot, I exactly forgot what was the number of day trading. Let's see. So, it says profitable day traders make up a make up a small portion of all trades, one point six percent in the average year. However, this um, these day trades are very active, accounting for twelve percent of all day trades. So let me see. It says okay, government agencies maintain that almost all day traders lose money. Look at that. But day trading industry claims that 60% of day traders are profitable after an initial learning period. And that is true. That is true, guys. I'm, I'm actually a pure example of this. So I started, I was losing money, and then I I knew what I was doing. It took, it took me a year to get my losses. I had to get a lot of things settled, and then I was being more patient, and I actually were, was more... Dis I'm, I'm really disciplined now. And then... If I see something risky, because we all know what's risky, for example, again, we're going back to this stock over here. This is risky because look at this. We already had a, look at, look at the five minute right now. It's too extended. And I even set it on this trade over here because I, I took a long over here. Let me see. Because I right there on the false breakout. I took a long right about 45 for the break of 50. We broke and then I sold right up. As soon as we broke the apex point, I sold because I knew we were already high. So I already knew that stock was already a high price. So, and we also, it was actually one minute before we had this, uh, let me see if it was this pullback. Oh, it was, no, it was actually right on that. I said, I even said on the chat, we need a five minute pullback, guys. Be cautious, this is a really risky trade. If you're gonna get long, don't overstay your welcome on the stock. And we had a pullback right there. And then right here, that's when I went long. I, I went red on this trade over here, put me red on the day. but. That's part of trading. The thing you gotta admit with trading is losses. You gotta get used to the losses. I see all, all the traders out there, they have losses too. There's no one does. Yeah, they probably have fewer losses. Of course, you go, you want to have fewer losses, but you will have always losses. But yeah, guys, so the things that I would have I would have loved to to know before day trading, they're right over here. I would have like this is something good because I know sometimes beginners they like to like search up a lot of things. So right here I have that. So I have I have right about here you can see the trading terms and if if you go a little bit down you see the strategies also day trading tools, trader psychology was formal mastering emotions. But it's pretty cool guys. So let's see over here it's pretty cool. There's a lot of information you guys day trading terminology account types. So for example, cash account, margin account, what's margin account. There's a lot of things over here, guys, that placing orders, what's the bid, what's an ask price, level one, spreads, market uh, makers, ECN fees, uh, route, uh, route, no, routers, smart routing, time and sales, level two. So everything, there's a lot of good information here for free, guys. And if you guys want to decide, uh, if you want to upgrade to premium, that's awesome. I want to be part of your journey of day trading. I want to, like, you will see the change because I'm a little bit more disciplined. So I just don't trade just to trade. I just don't trade just because I want to take a trade. There might be a day I'm not, some days I don't even take a trade at all. Why? Because I don't, I see, I don't see the point or reason why you should risk money if you know how the market is on that particular day or if you know 
like you you see indicators if you see a st everything selling off you're not just gonna take a trade on the because something just sold off you're thinking that's the bottom no it can go deeper and deeper so you guys can see in the in the in the well that's not in the live stream that's for the premium members over here i also write down a morning game plan for everyone so for the people that are, cannot make it to the live stream I, I just write down something so they can read like my game plan for the morning when i'm looking or where um what are the prices I'm looking at, or what stock it is, what's gonna be my entry, my target. Usually I always try to have at least target of 10 cents, you know, 500 shares, 10 cents, that's 50 bucks, but it that depends on uh, every trader, because sometimes I can't even take a, my starter depends on the market we're, we're in that day. If we're having a really slow market, no momentum, the cappers are looking really not that interested. So uh, you have to reduce, you have to adapt to the type of market you're in every day. So for example today, yeah, we had a we had a good day in momentum, but not as good as other days. And then the well, the past few days we've been having momentum slow down. So right now I'm only trading with 500 shares, a thousand shares. But when it's hot, that's when I start going up to 5,000, 10,000 shares. That's when you start making a lot of when when it's hot. We want like I try to profitalize a lot on it with the other members all at the same time. So it was good high, so give a, um, let's see if anything else, let me see my notes. So, okay guys, keep on the lookout for the next video. And then uh, if you guys, like I said before, if you guys wanna leave a like, that would really mean a lot to me. And also I'll be doing my morning shows on YouTube. I'm gonna go live every morning around 9 a.m. And we're gonna go over the leading gappers and then we'll try to find out what's the stock to be trading at the opening or which one looks uh which stock looks like a has a really good quality setup to trade right at the opening all right guys so i'm gonna leave over here so if you guys have any questions feel free to comment down below guys all right have a good have a good one everyone